what is happening everyone welcome back to the channel kg is back back with a little more transfer news seems that we've got another departure on the way another loan loan deal out another international loan out listen i know the name of the team this has been a bit of a running joke in the last comments russia monk much and glad back now i know how to say it people but sometimes much and what, what do i what do i usually say monk latch and back <laughs> sometimes that comes out of my mouth listen Everyone has kryptonite, yeah, and sometimes that name just kicks my butt. But yeah, listen, you know what? Ted Lasso has a saying, if you watch Ted Lasso, he says, when life gets hard, you got to give it a kiss, yeah? Keep it simple, sassy pants. So you know what? I think I might just go with Borussia M from now on. What about that? But listen, people, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, the, the the support on the, the video yesterday. It was an impromptu live stream. Thank you for tuning in to that one. And yeah, we're here to talk about Max Verber. Yeah, Tommy G, listen, people roasted me in the comments, man. I can take it, though. Listen, it's one of those words where sometimes it just goes back to front for me. But it is what it is. Uh, please hit a like on the video. Best way to support the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and drop your comments below. Uh, big thank you to uh, John Abbott, John L, Mr. P for the super thanks on yesterday's video. Much appreciated. Thank you for the uh, support. Really means a lot. Um <clears throat> yeah man uncle ted ted lasso man he's got some good sayings man that one's good i like that one keep it simple sassy pants but yeah listen this isn't going to be a long one today people and i mean it so don't keep me too long but yeah let's let's just get straight into it because we kind of touched on it yesterday uh max verber he was left out of the friendly yesterday and daniel farker did allude to it that it was for transfer reasons phil hay and there was another german uh reporter that reported this as well I, I should really get their name but you know they they confirmed this that he's close to joining borussia munch and gladbach on a season-long loan clubs discussing a permanent option so i think they're they're looking for a permanent deal uh come time when it when the loan's over Leeds plan to keep hold of him but he told them ahead of the friendly with monaco that he wanted to take the move now <clears throat> I, I know that um, some people are surprised with that because we've heard him say before that he would, he'd be willing to fight and stay. But it's something that I've said on here before that when these when these players say they want to stay, the only time we're going to know this is past the transfer window. That is the only time we're going to know because I've, I've given this example before, but we could have someone come out and say that they're willing to stay. But if if a big club suddenly gets an injury or their season doesn't start right, and they think, you know what, let's go and get that player from Leeds. Even if we have to pay over the odds, let's go and get them. They'll be on the first thing smoking out of here. They'll, they'll be gone. And this Max Verber thing is, uh, is, is another example of that. You know, he said that he wanted to stay. He'd be willing to stay and fight. But on the first opportunity, really, he, he's looked to go. You know, it, it's I don't even think uh, Borussia M are going to be in Europe next season. So I think it's just a case of him wanting to play at the highest level. And that's fine. The only thing I would say is that it doesn't surprise me in another way, though, because a lot of these players, let's, let's not sugarcoat it last season, they weren't up for the fight of staying in the Prem. So for some of them to then come down to the lower leagues in a 46-plus game season, including cup games, and think they want to fight to get us back up, it doesn't surprise me. I don't know how you guys feel, but it really doesn't surprise me. What is everyone saying that's in the in the chat right now? Guy Guy Fawkes here saying, what's with all this loan stuff? Well, just to update with that, with this being another international loan, Guy Fawkes and everyone else, there is one more slot left. That is it then. There can only be one more player that can leave this club on loan to an international team. Otherwise, it's a permanent move. No option to buy, no obligation to buy on the loan it would have to be a straight up transfer fee so if one more player wants to leave after max verba they better get it done quickly because that that window is shutting um but say it might be family issues regarding verba it could be any issue uh but but if if that was the case with family issues and i 100 and get that then he shouldn't have made any statement saying that he'd be willing to stay and fight. Unless there's something that came up in the last couple of weeks that we don't know about, and that that very well could be the case. This just seems to me one of those things where people say what they what they believe fans want to hear, but then as soon as the, the first opportunity comes, it's out the door I go. Um, and, and Mr. Tom, that's a fair point. Verbal was uh, just the least... Okay, was just the worst, was the least worst of a terrible line of defenders last year. And that's a fair point. Listen, I, I fully uh, admit when he first came in, um, I, I, I probably overgassed him. I probably said that we could probably 
not build a defense around him. I would never say that, but I would say that he could be part of the defensive core going forward. But as we saw as the season went on, whether it was the rest of the defenders dragging him down, he kind of went to the standard of everyone else. Listen, he's on highlight clips for um, the the West Ham and what's the other one? T Tottenham one, where he's just getting walked around. He, he, he got dragged down into that, whether that's guilty by association or not, it happened to him. So in the end, we were looking for, I was looking for him to start afresh in the championship, maybe, you know, see what his level is. But it looks like we're not going to get to see it. But listen, I think Daniel Farker, who, by the way, when he, when he was mentioning this, I don't know if you watched the interview, people. I I don't know if he knew about these loans out, you know. <laughs> I think maybe in, in those two-way conversations, they said to him, yeah, we, you know, a lot of players have got relegation release clauses, which he would probably accept. But did they actually tell him that some of them are just leaving on loan? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if they told him the full information. I think they were just like, yeah, once he signed the contract, oh, by the way, Daniel, some of them will be leaving on loan. Bye. You know, like that would just run out the door. Um, <laughs> Sam, Aileen Cooper, Strout, Furpo, Lord have mercy, KG. Sam, th that's why work needs to be done. Work needs to be done. We're on Sunday today. I said I said last week, I mean, after before Ampadu was signed, I wanted at least three or four. I mean, in the week. That that's being greedy, but it's what we need. Because as, as somebody said earlier, and I'm sorry um it, it's gone up and I, I can't find it. We need six or seven. And and it's true, we need more than than what people think. It it's so important. And even in that friendly, and looking back again on that friendly, there's just so much work that needs to be done within this squad. No creativity, no striker, need a, a competent goalkeeper who's not going to will. As somebody said, um, I can't remember your name. Sorry about this if I can't remember your name. But they left a comment saying they were at the game and Melier's head dropped as soon as the goal went in. You know, and, and that's something that we have to avoid this season. We saw it too many times last season. And that's why I'm just worried with some of these players still here. They're mentally weak. A lot of them are just not mentally there. So, yeah. Look, we 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 do. We we need. Yeah, some 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 people are saying <laughs> he didn't have a clue. Yeah, I think you know. I really believe that Daniel Farker didn't know because he looks more exacerbated by the situation about them leaving on loan. I think if they were leaving all for fees, I think he'd be okay because then he can replenish the squad with you know obviously staying within profit and sustainability. But these players leaving on loan, he's probably thinking, what, what is going on here? I've never heard of people having relegation loan release clauses. I know I haven't. I know I haven't. So, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Farker, look, he knew it was going to be a tough job anyway. And, you know, the, the promising thing for me is he didn't back down from the conversation yesterday about needing new signings. So that is the most important thing for me, that he knows that this squad is nowhere near complete. Um. Mr. Tom saying, I hate the thought of these players coming back. Yeah, for me, I, it, it would depend on the player, in, in all honesty. But with the ones that have left on loan so far, and that includes Mats Verber with, with this one, I don't want to see any of them back either. I, I've got no desire to see any of them back. The only thing I will say is that uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Brendan Aronson will be one to come back and play. Just from the exit uh, words that Leeds United used, it sounded very, very temporary. Compared to everyone else that has left, Brendan Brendan Arison's exit words or his his article sounded very very temporary. So, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I'm not into having any of these guys back that have left myself. I'm I'm completely with you. Uh, and it seems like a lot of people are like NZO too. So yeah, um, I mean T85. I can't put that up as you can imagine. But yeah, he's saying afternoon, Doctor KG. Tired of these people shirking off. These lot are going to be known as the. No, six, loan six or something like that yeah it's gone up now uh t85 but yeah well look at that t85 there's going to be a seventh i would i would i would highly anticipate there be the final spot taken i find it very difficult to believe that there won't be another player in this squad that won't leave on loan on a season-long loan i find it very difficult to believe so once that spot's filled then it's time for us to get some transfer money in because so far all we've got is from rodrigo and small loan fees from like Robin Cock, which obviously is not ideal in our situation. Um, uh, all leads away uh, is it, 71 saying, let's be honest, they have left because their wages were cut in half. That will be a part of it. That will definitely be, be a factor in that they can go, even on loan, they can get, 
that there is a system where you can get your, the wages you paid at your club and then get more on top from the, the club that's loaning you. So you can get a higher pay packet. That will definitely be a factor. But also for me, the main thing for me is that some of them just don't want to do the grind of a 46 game season. And I don't blame them. I don't blame some of them because you, you look at some of the fixtures, what you could be playing. And then their agents telling you, you can go to, to Germany, you can go to Italy, wherever it may be. And you can play these fixtures. I can understand that from a footballing point of view. So that that's why these kind of loans are just not surprising me. I don't know if they're surprising everyone else, but they don't surprise me. Uh, Bob's here saying we still need to get rid of Perveda, Shackleton, Greenwood, Costa. We'll move on to Greenwood in just a second. I just want to flash up a picture of him. But the problem is, Bob's. I mean, hopefully, you know, cost. I mean, cost. I held the cost of being here. Mad thing, mad. But listen, hopefully, there's some clubs that will come in for these players. The problem is, you don't hear of any clubs linked for these kind of players. It's always the ones that have freshly come in or have got a little bit of a high reputation around Europe. It doesn't matter if you if we think they're bad players. Their reputation is high around Europe, and clubs will take these players and think they can get something out of them what they didn't get what they didn't give at Leeds. But some of these players here, I mean, Shackleton, I don't know where where some of these guys are going to be linked to. I think it's going to be on Leeds to try and get clubs to to come in for them, whether it be on loan or cheap permanent, because we do. We've got so much Deadwood on, on the books. This should have been sorted out years ago, but it is what it is. <laughs> Bob's. <laughs> Just in reply to Bob's, that will be another £50 in the kitty. Tremendous. <laughs> you guys, man. Love it. Love it. Um. Yeah, Russ Vernon just saying here about Greenwood being injured. I was just going to share that. Um, I'm just going to quickly show his face and then scoot, scoot down to his boot because there's a kid in the picture. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really want to. So there you go, Sam Greenwood, and there's a protective boot. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's precautionary. I don't know if there's a ligament damage there, but it looks like Sam Greenwood is going to be behind on his fitness as well coming into the new season. Again, you know, Sam Greenwood isn't the be-all and end-all, but he's a depth option for us. That's another one that's going to be on the side. That's why we need to beef this team up with some quality in the squad. It's so so important. I I can't I can't express it enough, people. I'm I'm not because I don't take this lightly. I don't take the the the, the grind of trying to get back up in, into the prem lightly. I just don't. And without a goal scorer, without a competent goalkeeper, we can have all the creativity we want with Sinistera, Nanto, uh, and Rutter. If no one's scoring and if no one's keeping it out. It doesn't matter. You know, football at the end of the day is very, very simple. It's a very simple game. You you score goals, you win. You keep them out. You keep clean sheets. You're not losing the game. All this other stuff is ancillary. Whether someone works hard, someone is creating or anything else like that. If you're not doing the simple things like keeping the ball out the net and then scoring the goals, there's no point. We've got to get the basics right. And we haven't done that for the last couple of years. Uh, Karen here, shout out to Karen, big supporter of the channel. Raz, uh, Rads and Auto have really messed the club up. I just don't get the loan, the loan things. And Max Verber literally signed in January. Like, why, why was that even inserted? It should have been a, a fee. It should have been a straight up release clause fee for relegation. Should never have been a loan. I, d I don't get it. But I don't know whether it, it's a mix of incompetence and it's a mix of arrogance as well to think that we was going to be nowhere near the relegation zone, running back that same defence and goalkeeper that had conceded 550 goals the season before. But this is where we are. And Enzio is right, way for thin squad at the moment. Exactly. You know, as much as I champion Archie Gray, and I do think he can do big things for us, we need another experienced creative midfielder in there. Oh, my Lord. Listen, I'm just hopeful, like I'm sure loads of you, that we're going to do some business this week. It's it's imperative, people. It's imperative for me that we do business. So let's hope that the 49ers have got some more signings in the tuck and that we can get them announced tomorrow. I want to be on here tomorrow announcing a new signing with you guys. That's what that's the that's the that's the dream. Um and yeah, and that's another thing. It doesn't all have to be permanent here. Leeds on top here. Let's ma maximize the loan market from Premier League clubs. We've still got some Premier League uh, loans to use and we need to use them wisely. You know, we're already seeing um, Chelsea, uh, they'll be loaning out a couple of players. Uh, Man City loaning out a couple of players. We need to we need to utilize that and get the best of, of the Prem. And we can do that. As I said yesterday, that we're in the strongest position we're going to be in. And that leads me on to, I mean, it, it's not it's not pertaining to us, but this is what can happen. You know, Ismail Assar, 
to Olympic Marseille from Watford. You know, Watford are now finally losing their gem. Now, for me, Saar was never, he was never the level in the Prem. He was way too inconsistent. But in the championship, he's a problem. And now he's going to be leaving. Watford haven't been, didn't manage to go up in the last, what, year, year or two. This is what happens. You start to lose even these kind of players. And this is what we've got to avoid, people. We've got to avoid staying in this league. And slowly and surely, the, even your better players that have said that they will stay, will eventually go. And then you just become another championship club. And I just, I can't take that again, people. I can't take it. Um, uh, Russ here just saying, Nonto signed for us in January and hasn't got a relegation release clause in his contract. Verba signed for us in January and got a relegation release clause. Make it make sense. Well, th the only sense I would make from that, Russ, though, is that Nonto came from Zurich. With all due respect to the Swiss League, he was getting the biggest boost here. Um, Verba, on the other hand, was going from Salzburg, who are perennial Austrian champions. Whether Whatever you think of that league, that, that's got some weight. They play in the Champions League. They do more than us anyway. So there's a different level there. So Zurich, coming from Zurich, it's a big step up. You don't really have the leverage to say, I want a relegation release clause. You just don't. Whereas Max Verber, from coming from the Austrian champions, he will have had a bit more leverage. So that's that's the only way that I would I would see that myself. Um, Mr. Tom, shout out to you, Mr. Tom. Big support of the channel. Come a member. Thank you so much, Mr. Tom, for becoming a member of the channel. Memberships are in the description. And it's just, a, it's really a way just to help me out financially and the channel financially just helps get more videos out as well. So thank you so much, Mr. Tom, for becoming a member. Much appreciated. Um, <clears throat> uh, Steve here saying 49ers have plenty of money to spend. The problem is FFP, uh, profit and sustainability for the championship equivalent. We have a limit we can go to without selling players, hence the stupidity of loaning players instead of selling. Uh, Steve, there's no option. It, it doesn't matter if the 49ers have said, Let's just use uh, Much and Gladback as an example. Whether they said to them or not, we want a fee for this player, no matter what. If they pay the loan, the loan wages is wages in full. It's done. That's the clause triggered. It doesn't matter what what anyone says. This is the these are the mistakes of the past regime that are coming to bite us right now in the present. So it is stupid. It's definitely stupid that we haven't got the transfer fees we should have. But we're at the mercy of the loan fees until that seventh spot's taken. And once that seventh, lo seventh international loan spot's taken, then we can demand transfer fees again, Steve. So that's just the, that is just the basics of it. That is the legal basics of it. We can't do anything about it. Um, but I hear you. I hear you in, in terms of that. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's just a warning, basically, Ismail Assam in, in terms of that. And I think that is it, people. I did say I'm not going to be long today. I did say I'm not going to be long. Let me just see. That is it. That is it. That is it. Yeah, we are done. We are done. Oh, 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 no, 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 we're not done. There is one more because somebody mentioned this name as an option for left back and it was a good shout. But unfortunately, he is going to rhymes with will still so uh josh wilson esbran is joining rhymes on loan from man city so there you go people another left back option that that fans a couple fans did actually mention to me he's now off the table so he'll be going to france in league one and joining will still out in rhymes so there you go there is another one gone so add him to ryan giles who's going to loot in town as well so there we are people um, give me your thoughts in the comments in regards to anything uh, discussed in the video. Uh, your thoughts on Matt's Verba, anything, your, your concerns, anything else like that. Hopefully this week is fruitful for transfers and we need it, people. We, we, we're desperate for me. We, we, we're absolutely desperate. Um, I'm not trying to make out like we're going to be relegated or anything else like that, but I've already said before, if it's not promotion this season, it's a failure. I'm sorry. There's no, we played well and we finished seventh or we finished fifth and we didn't get promoted via playoffs. It's promotion or failure for me because otherwise it's just going to get harder as the seasons go by. So let's hope the 49ers are cooking something behind the scenes and we've got something to announce people. So listen, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.